So, hi there everyone. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on this uh, little trip out. We're going to Mark. I haven't been able to get to for a while because we've only had small tides. We haven't had any big, big tides for a while. And uh, yeah, did pretty well here a couple of months ago, I would have said it was now. Uh, going to the same mark, fishing a uh, big uh, patch of sand mixed in with boulders. Nice bit of runner tide. We've got absolutely beautiful conditions. The wind's just gone. We've got one to two uh, wind for literally nothing. Two hours till low water. And uh, yeah, we're going to go hunt some uh, sea bass this afternoon. Uh, yeah, give you a quick rundown of what we're going to be using. And uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of uh, tactics and stuff like that. How to work the lures we're going to be using. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find a big bass. There's been a lot of big bass caught recently over here in Guernsey. If you know we're in the Channel Islands. Uh, yeah, a lot of good bass grounds over here. But uh, yeah, I know people have been catching sevens, eights even 10 fish a trip so if we can have a trip like that today yeah that could be good so yeah not chatting let's get down there got a bit of a hike out to the mark hopefully it will be rewarding let's do this so this is where we're going to start our session so we're fishing in front of me here it's just uh yeah a load of cow and weed and it drops off into nice sand and yeah we're just going to skip a pachinko over the top here do a show of that in a second yeah, I'm excited I want to get out there. So I haven't been to this mark for a while. Hopefully it produces. Right. Not going to go too much into it, guys. I'm just using my uh, pen reel today. Uh, fixable, 3,000 size, 28 pound braid. It's got a Savage Gear SGS4. This is 9 foot 2, 8 to 44 gram. I've gone for the extra distance on the uh, rod, length on the rod, sorry. So we can really get that lure out there for a decent distance. And I've been using a little leader recently. It's got my barrel swivel there. We've got a probably half a meter of fluorocarbon down to our clip swivel, down to a Pachinko Nile 125. Going to start off with that. Got plenty of other lures we can try. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we can slay a few bass this afternoon. That's the plan. This place has been kind to me uh, in the last few times I've been here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's the same again today. Right, let's get that lure out there. It's just so nice not to have any wind for a change. The last three, four weeks has just been non-stop horrible weather. Wind, rain. But yeah, what we're going to be doing, guys, nice steady retrieve. Feels weird using the bigger rod. I haven't used this rod for a good while. I'm using my other pen uh, rod, but we'll give this one a uh, dusting off today. And uh, yeah, see if we can get a fish on it. I'm doing this nice steady retrieve. Nothing fast, just twitching the end of the rod as you see. And hopefully we can get a take off a of bass. Nice clear water as well. We're just off the back of Ormer in tides. So yeah, you'd have seen the Ormer video I put up. But yeah, it's bass on the menu today. That's what we want. Come on. We can't get enough distance on this. We'll uh, put the one 40 on Pachinko. We got Savage Gear lures, all sorts. But yeah, that's really good on the surface, this Narkray. That nice white. This mark's a funny one. You can get no fish and then they turn up or you'll get them straight off the bat. There's the big rock in front of me there as well. You normally find fish behind that. We've got a lot of area to cover. So yeah. We've got quite a bit of hope this afternoon that we can find a couple of fish. So, it's been quiet, guys. I've chopped and changed um, surface lure. I've tried a Savage Gear V2 Pearl Y. No indications of any bass here yet. Quite a few birds feeding a little bit further out. But yeah, nothing to uh, write home about yet here. But we we'll keep going. That's the first I said with this place. You can have no fish and then all suddenly out of nowhere the uh, fish turn up. So it's literally just fishing over sand. But I've had some great uh, great fish out of here in the past. On this state of tide as well, tide um, ebbing out. 1.1 low today, so it's gonna go out quite a ways. So all really good bass ground. 
to try and locate where they are. It's got a 140 arm pachinko at the moment. Well, it's one of those lovely winter's afternoons. It's chilly, but it's bearable. It's not freezing cold when you get that wind chill. It uh, makes it, uh, yeah, a lot more unpleasant. But yeah, fingers crossed we can, uh, yeah, come on some fish soon. Yeah, just move location, guys. Pachinko 140 doing the biz eye. First cast of this mark. So a nice little bit of tide run. Bang. First bass of the session. It's taking his time. Fishing a big cow bed here. I don't think there's any size to him, but he hit me as soon as that low hit the water. Didn't even have time to put the camera on. Pop that camera up enough for you to see. So I'll try and keep him up high enough. Oh, let's get him out of those heads. It's only, I don't know, it's big. Sorry about the filming, guys. I just don't want to, uh, yeah, let him get into that kelp and we're losing. We worked hard for this fish today. Not big, I don't think. But a welcome bass, that's for sure. Right, let's get some safe ground. Oh, oh. Nice, I'll be extra careful on these rocks. Blink and slippery. Oh, there we go. There we take that. That's a nice bass. Beautiful. Just hooked on the one hook, I think. I haven't changed the hooks on this lure, so gotta be extra careful. I mean, he's pretty well hooked, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're getting up, guys. I'll get you a better show. Beautiful star. So there we are, guys. First bass of the session. Now that pachinko. I'll give it a quick measure in a minute. Probably a couple of pounds. Nice, lengthy fish. Yeah, he hit me. Didn't even have time to put the camera on before he slammed that there. Beautiful. Nice star. Well worth coming out for. I love those blue uh, blues on the tails of the fish and on the uh, fins this time of year. Absolutely fantastic. So there we are, guys. He's got a quick measure of him right on the nose there. Yeah, just over 50. The 50 centimetres. Lovely bar of silver. So yeah, he's going to put it back in the pool. And we're trying to get a bit of underwater footage of him going away. Lovely job. There we are, one last little show. Lovely bass, coming in at 50 centimetres. Falling up uh, to that pachinko. Yeah, coming all this way out. It's nice to find a fish. So yeah, let's get this one released and see if there's a few more in here. Happy days. Let's go back out there guys and see if there's any more in there. That's exactly the same spot again. Just a nice um, bit of tie brick there. Full of kelp, just slowly retrieving it in. Yeah, there we are. Oh, it's got hit then again guys. There's fish in this area. Might even pop down this rock. Make it easier if we land the fish. Out there and see if we can hook another one. A nice little run of uh, tide here, guys. Full of weed. I reckon the bass are just sat in the weed there, waiting for anything to come over the top. And as my patch comes over, bang, they're slamming off. And the slow retrieving it. Yeah, oh, yeah, we are. Another fish. Whoa! Keep his head up. Two down, baby. Woohoo, we found the fish. Just shows you doing a bit of walking, guys, and you can find them. The old patch doing the biz, eye. That's what a lot of people have been catching their bass on recently, the old patch. In January, catching bass on the top. Can't be there. Hit that like button if you haven't already, guys, if you want to see more videos like this. God, he's tight and nicely. Woohoo. <laughs> Oh, I love bass fishing, I really do. Oh, he's putting up a good account. They go so well in the shallow water. I had a cat, uh, you would have seen just before. On the last cast, I had a bass follow the lure in. Not big by any means. Same size as the last one. Oh, table size fish up a bit bigger, I would have said. Always January this mark produces bass. God, he's not happy. 
Yeah, we'll get it up, guys, and I'll get you a better shot. Lovely job. So that's a quick measure of that one as well, guys. 49. But yeah, three uh, casts have been hit by bass. But I'm not going to waste any time, get a quick snap of this and get it back and get it back out there. There could be a lot of fish in this area. We are. One last show, another lovely bass. Fall into that patch. I'll give you a show of it. Um, that she is there. Quick show of it. 140. Giving that one a go today. They're loving it. So yeah, let's get it back. Lovely stamp of fish show. Nice and healthy. Love to see in January. Right, just pop this one back in. He's nice and lively. Ah, like a train. Awesome to see. They love this bouldery area. It's full of uh, weed, all for in. You can see the tide running through. The bastard is probably sat there as bait fish go over and slamming it. Let's get another lure out there. Right, let's get another lure out there, see if we can get uh, another one. Oh, slippery city. Bit of a... Come on, you basils. Then you get another one past exactly the same area again. Man, straight to the same mark. You can't beat the pack when it's uh, conditions like this, flat calm. I'm really slowly retrieving that lure. Not to see there's going to be any more fish. As quick as the pack can be here, they can be gone. But the way that lure works on the surface, you can't beat it. Can't ask for much more in conditions like this. Come on. So this is what we're fishing over guys. This is what's out there. Loads of boulders. As you see there, we've got kelp just in front of us. You see that tide pushing. And uh, yeah, that's a small image of what we're fishing on out there. Big boulders, bass could be sat behind the heads there. Probably fishing no more than probably two, two and a half meters of water right on the back. But uh, yeah, check out. Beautiful this looks, absolutely paradise. Flat calm. What a winter's afternoon catching bass. You can't be there, but hopefully it's not over yet and we can get a few more for you. Well, you ain't gonna get much more peaceful than this, guys. Water's like a mirror. Absolutely lovely. If we can get one here, that will be uh, pretty spectacular. Just fishing over, just sand here, really. I said in front of me, there just boulders, you see. It goes up and just to sand. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bass following the urn. Yeah, look. <laughs> look at that. Look at the bass there. Do I pick that up on camera, guys? There must have been five or six bass there behind the lure. Well, there's fish here. Let's go back out there. <laughs> oh, small. That was insane. So I said the bass probably come up and down, up and down here. Chasing bait fish and stuff. Oh, that got the old hair going. Been quiet. And then that happened. Very close in as well, they were. You can hear. Can you hear that action? That lure sounds absolutely amazing. Oh, there was some fish after that lure. See if they're going this way. A few more casts of the patch maybe and I might change over to a soft plastic. That was pretty cool to see though. So a couple more casts here. Very, very shallow here. Not really expecting too much. Probably literally fishing in about two foot of water here. Even if it's that. But I've had bass in here in the past. Just sat in the little clumps of weed. We've hit a clump of weed there, lovely. <laughs> but yeah, if it wasn't so cold, this could have been a day for the kayak, that's for sure. 
Lovely weed fish, beautiful. Is that for a specimen? <laughs> uh, uh, one more here, I think. I'm gonna make my way back home. Would have been nice to have stayed for the turn of the tide, but. Tide's normally got to be a little bit high for this little area. You can see why it's bassy, eh? Absolutely brilliant. Full of boulders, weed. Perfect ground for bass to be uh, waiting and ambushing their prey. Right, that's me. So much weed. <laughs> uh, right, pop that on there. Happy days. So we ride back on our, yeah, dry land now. Quite a hike out there, but all worth it for those two bass. Uh, yeah, really nice to see plumpy uh, fish uh, falling on to those pachinkos. This ain't the one we had uh, it on, but that's the pachinko, 140. Mr. Fish has got all different uh, kinds of uh, collars, varieties. You've got the 125, the 140, the 500G, and uh, yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, go on his website, Mr. Fish and Jersey. And uh, yeah, so type in Pachinkos and yeah, you'll be in your element. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make my way home. So uh, hope you enjoy this one, guys. If you had, hit that like button, share with friends and family, get the channel out there. Check out my Instagram page as well. That's uh, the same name. I thought when videos are going to be going up and uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, TikTok as well, the same name. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this one, guys. Keep casting and catching and catching those bass. And yeah, we'll catch you on the sea again soon. Cheers, it's been CI Fishing Guernsey.